Time has finally come, the banana clutch is all shed out, so let's take a look at these things. And uh, maybe you guys could tell me what I got here because I am lost on, I'd say probably, hmm, I might be lost on all six of these animals to be honest with you. Anyways, let's get her going. First animal we have here. Let me pull it on this. All right, here's the first animal we got, and let's show the true color. There we go. So this right here, I had initially thought was maybe a fire Mojave, just because I find that the alien heads, which are these little patterns here on the sides, uh, were pretty reduced for a Mojave. Like you could see right there, he has a big patch of uh, brown, and they look odd to me. Um, for Mojave patterns, they're like all different sizes. Um, there's different spacing between the patterns. And you have the stripes going along the back. And this one here that actually kind of bleeds into the side pattern. So I thought that maybe there was something else going on here other than Mojave. Perhaps fire because it's definitely not a pastave. It would be uh, much brighter than this. So, but again, you know, fire usually brightens things up considerably. And I don't find this animal is bright enough to be a fire, but it may just be a really nice um, Mojave, a really strange looking Mojave. And this guy right here is a male. Uh, which actually, I just wanted to talk about quick here. Um, actually, perhaps I'll talk about it a little bit once we get to the bananas. That'll make uh, probably a little bit more sense to do it that way. All right, let's try to not get bit here. Okay, next animal. Let me put that lid back on. All these guys just wanna get out of there. Okay, so I think initially what we had thought is that this animal could be a, um, a Mojave Enchi spider uh, fire. And I mean, I think there's fire in it because it's very pale looking. It's very clean looking as well. I'm actually not too sure on Enchi anymore. But I definitely, I mean spider, spider and Mojave to me are a given in this animal. Um, just because you can see kind of that Mojave gene trying to do its best to come, to come out on the sides. But I think we got a Mojave fire spider here. And I'm not too sure if the Enchi is in there. But we also have quite a faded head. And you can see this animal just really wants to move right now. So um, let's take a couple different looks at this thing. Because I want you guys to give me your best bets on what we're looking at here. Sometimes I focus in and the animal will appear a bit darker. But here, that's pretty much its color. I mean... There's a, there's my hand for, you know, comparison, so. But yeah, a really nice cream colored animal, has a very faded head, which is kind of throwing me off. But I definitely think we have a, um, a Mojave spider fire here. Maybe there's pastel in there. Maybe there's Enchi, but I'm, I'm just not too sure. I think we're dealing with uh, those three genes definitely though, Fire, Mojave, and Spider. So let me know what you guys think on this girl. This is a nice female. Um, doesn't really appear to have that much wobble right now, but in my experience, guys, like anything that has Spider in it will have a uh, wobble to some degree. I know there's people who say they have lines of Spider with no uh, wobble, but uh, I like to watch these Spiders feed. It's usually during feeding time that that wobble really comes out. So. But uh, a very nice looking snake nonetheless. Nice looking girl that we have here. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the banana stuff. So I guess I could explain this uh, right now how, because actually I didn't even know how it worked really. Um, this whole male maker deal, this male maker, female maker type of thing, uh, I didn't really understand it before, but I read up on it and uh, it kind of makes sense. Well, 
makes sense, I guess. It makes more sense to me now. So basically, um, the mom of this clutch was a female banana. So female bananas aren't really affected by this whole male maker, female maker deal. Only the male bananas are affected by it. So basically, in this clutch, we had a normal sex ratio. Uh, this right here is a girl. And we got another girl banana and two male bananas. Now those two male bananas, those two male bananas um, will be female makers. And the reason this is, is because apparently, and because, you know, I don't want to say that it's 100% true. Actually, if you read up about the banana gene, it says that 95% true uh, in most of the cases, or I'm messing this all up, guys. Basically, online, it'll say that um, the males are... The males will most likely produce bananas that are the same sex that their parent was. So, example, the males we have in this clutch, they will be female makers. And it's... According to what I read online, 95% of the bananas that those males will produce will be females. And then what ends up happening is all the non-bananas they'll produce will actually be males. So our two male bananas will be female makers, whereas this girl and the other girl I'll show you in a second, they could produce like whatever. But if she produces a banana male, then again, it will be female makers. So that's how that works, uh, kinda. I know I didn't explain it too great. But, um, yeah, let's try it one more time. One more time, guys. If you're breeding bananas and you produce male bananas, they are the maker of whatever the banana parent was. So if you have a banana male and you hatch male bananas they are male makers if you have a banana female like we did and you hatch uh banana males they are female makers so anyways I, I suggest you guys like look it up on the internet um it probably explains it a lot better than i did so anyways back on to this girl i had initially thought that this was a banana enchi and let's see if we could get color to show up a bit better come here you there you go that's perfect that's exactly how she looks so I thought banana enchi Joseph seems to think banana fire so let me know what you guys think um, the snake is like really nice looking, very clean looking animal. So both fire and enchi clean the snake up quite a bit. You can see there's basically no spotting or what we call alien heads. Just a couple of spots here and there. But a very clean looking animal, which made me think enchi. But you know, you do get some fires that look like that as well. Um, the snake has a very blushed out orange head. And really nice looking flames. And the purple is just nuts on her right now. So let me know what you guys think, Enchi or Fire Banana. And I don't think there's anything else in it besides those two things. So it's either Banana Enchi or Banana Fire, I think. So far I have two people telling me they think it's uh, Banana Fire. And uh, I, I think Banana Enchi, but it's, it's hard to tell, guys. So let's put this girl away. Super nice looking animal, though. I mean... Those flames are nuts. Okay, who we look at next? We'll look at the spider banana thing. Here we go. Put that lid back on. All right. So this right here is what I believe to be. Let's focus in on it. Of course, turns the color all yuck. Let me put it back in hand. And there we go. Okay, so this is what we believe to be a stinger banana. 
and it may or may not have something else in it. The reason why I think it's a stinger as opposed to just a regular spider, which uh, if you guys don't know, a stinger is a spider enchi. Um, to me, I'm seeing that stinger head on this animal. Uh, really cool, actually, if you guys could see. And there we go again. But this animal has really nice green scales over its eyes. <clears throat> so that's very nice, obviously. Um, to me, the pattern is very reduced. The pattern is very clean. And uh, it's thinner. It's not as thick as you would expect a, uh, a regular spider's pattern to be. Now, I think there may be fire in this animal as well, just because I looked at um, the female that produced this clutch, how she looked as a baby, and she had that uh, bright yellow uh, going down her back. And you can see this animal has really cool like sides too, almost looks like it has some calico stuff going on. Obviously it does not, but a really nice looking animal nonetheless. And this right here is a boy, so it is what I believe I believe to be a fire uh, stinger banana male and he is a female maker and I'm almost certain that this guy will be available for sale once he starts feeding and uh, if you guys have ever worked with spider spider animals before uh, they feed like amazing so I'm sure he'll probably be the first one in the clutch to eat but he looks really really nice and now we get to some of the crazier stuff um, I don't know what I should show first. I guess I'll show this girl first just because she was the closest to my hand. Oh boy. Look at this. Thank God these are ball pythons, man. <laughs> Other baby snakes, you, just, you can't really mess with them by touching them on the head like that. But ball pythons, you know, they just back up like that. Very easy to work with. If that was a baby carpet python, it would be on the end of my finger right now. Okay. So... This animal right here, um, I believe to be a banana mochi pastel, or a ba banana pastel mochi. I'll tell you why I think this. First of all, it definitely has that mochi pattern. To me, it, it has to be at least a mochi. So you can see the Mojave craziness mixed with the Enchi. We've hashed out a bunch of mochis before, so to me, like, you're not going to tell me this doesn't have mochi in it. Um... There, obviously, there's banana in it, right, guys? And then we have the faded head right here. So, you can see the animal's overall color is very pale compared to, like, um, let's say that first animal I showed you that was a banana. And typically, pastel will do this. Pastel will really lighten up the animal. And uh, you can see the faded, like, light pink head. To me, this animal uh, is a pretty easy one to call. Um, I'm just not sure if there's fire in it, to be honest with you. I don't think there is, uh, but let me know if you guys think different. But this right here is a female, and she is a banana uh, pastel mochi. Almost 100% sure, at least. So, But who knows? You guys tell me if you think I'm wrong. Just want to get a look at some of those flames on her. Uh, what's interesting is both the female bananas are pretty mean. Um, the other guys in the clutch are all pretty, like, you know, shy right now. Um, they're probably going to take a little longer to get feeding than the two females. But I'm going to show you the last animal now. And the last animal, um, three things are really easy to call on him. But there's one that, like, I'm not too sure. And let's put everybody back. Alright, so here's our boy. Let's focus in. All right. Yeah, his color is showing up pretty accurately right now. He is a little bit more purple in person. Uh, I'll say that. But his sides are very orange, and at least that's coming through. Okay. So, I mean, if you guys have ever seen a pastave before, which is a Mojave um, pastel, you know that pastave is definitely in this animal. Like, there's no question. No question at all. So, obviously banana too, right? So this guy is at the very least a three gene um, animal, banana, Mojave, and pastel. He's also going to be a female maker because uh, 
His mom was the banana. Color messed up again. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. Okay, so we're thinking maybe there's fire in this guy. Uh, his head is faded quite a bit, and his head, um, while it is pale, which is normal of the pastels, his head is a different color than the rest of his body. Um, so maybe that would make him a firefly Mojave banana or fire pastave banana. Um, he definitely looks different enough from the, uh, the pastave, um, the pastave, uh, bananas I've seen. And what's interesting is I think if that first animal I showed you is a Mojave fire, then he has potential to have that fire gene as well. Because you could see that his pattern is more, more or less the same thing as that first Mojave I showed you guys. You know, he has some of these weird spaces. Um, in between the Mojave patterns, some of the uh, Mojave patterns on his sides are very aberrant, meaning they're like, you know, odd shapes and uh, sizes of patterning. Like, look at those two little dots there. And he also has that striping, that weird striping down his back. So, he may be a fire uh, pastave banana, but I'm not too sure. And now, uh, I'm going to try something. Well... I'm almost certain this isn't going to work, but let's take a look uh, at the whole clutch together and see who escapes first. No, but here they all are. Eh, I, I want to put them on the styrofoam uh, panel here so you guys could like see them all a lot better. But you, I mean, you could see these guys just, they want to get out of here. Uh, they're, they're done. <laughs> they just want to go back in their bins and relax. But that's the clutch guys. Um, really happy with it everything looks cool everything looks different and uh yeah next uh, i'm actually going to be showing you guys um all the other clutches shed out and it's going to be one long video not that this one is a short video but uh we're going to look at you know the black crystal um the uh, the recent clutch when it sheds out which is the the five gene animal that we got the uh, the super uh, super fly mochi and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff soon. We got a couple more clutches um, that are set to hatch within the coming month here. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Like us on Facebook, Safari Reptiles. And if you're interested in any of these animals, let us know. Uh, we're gonna be at the CRBE uh, in Toronto, the biggest uh, Canadian reptile expo of the year. It's two days long and we'll probably bring all of these there, so. Even the ones, even uh, the keeper or two that we choose out of this clutch, we'll probably uh, bring them just to show them off. So if you guys want to see these in person, make sure you come by our booth, Safari Reptiles. And uh, I said like the Facebook, but also follow us on Instagram, guys. Come on. We have like uh, almost 9,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, and we don't even have 90 followers on Instagram. So get on that, guys. Thanks, and take care.